Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. This is absolutely deafening as the undisputed UFC lightweight champion makes the walk for his latest title defense. This is a huge fight, as big a fight as we can put together at 155 pounds, but the champion thinks it's going to be one side. Yeah, skill for skill, he's one of the best fighters in the world. That's why when you look at the pound for pound rankings, you always see his name right up on the top of the guys on the list. He has every skill in mixed martial arts, but I believe it's his mind that separates him from the rest. He has a skilled trap of a mind and believes without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best fighter in the world. Yeah, he was carrying himself this week like a guy who knew something we didn't. We'll see just how one-sided this fight could be in a matter of moments. Eddie Alvarez has graced the octagon. He's ready to fight. Herb Dean, he will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, so here we go from Timo Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world, most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM brand, it was the Mandalay Bay, now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world, in the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. The international fight with the championship fights all across the board. You come to Timo. Man, this is crazy thus far. High volume, high pace, and a huge punch being landed there. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Output at least in the early going. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. And a nice left hand there on the inside. What a fun fight. These two are going back and forth. Always busy here in the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. And now some distance as they pull apart. Just missed with the left there. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! Alvarez going for the takedown, but unable to land. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, it's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kicks. Hook to the head, lands flush there by the underground. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. And he connects there. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Quick jab lands here. Just over 
two minutes, round one. Heavy leather leg on both sides in that exchange. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. That one was clean. Great punch. Oh, nice inside kick. Takedown defense holds up. Immediately gets the underhook. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Good jab there by the champion. Good jab. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hurting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Strong punch there by Eddie Alvarez. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Big inside kick. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. 20 seconds left. Alvarez's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Man, these guys have some chills on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Round two here. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two players. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there. It might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak. Oh, my God. His opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that fit. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did, was super impressive. So to even list his performance on the side that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Takedown defense is there. And he's back to his feet. Good side for him there. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood is coming from the cut. Three minutes. 
All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. they have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out. Or your night's going to end very early. All right, feet on the hips here. Great job finding his shots from the top position. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Lee getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Lee's in half guard. Now he's going full mount. Good job to land these strikes from top position. All well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, operating inside the close guard now. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Straight right hand, no good. Alvarez is blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Alvarez has got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Lands to the body. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice uppercut. Final seconds here. Oh, nice counter jab there. He's got that single counter time. Two rounds in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Look like that body kick got home. Beautiful straight punch there by the underground king. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. A big right hook there by the champ. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight 10. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Alvarez's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Takedown defense holds up. His 
side kick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good side kick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer. Three minutes to go in round three. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up, but I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're gonna have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. Alvarez is in half guard. Dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Lee gets pounded here on the ground. The elbow there doing the damage. Nice shots landing from the top position. <clears throat> that was a slick transition. Alvarez is really bleeding heavily now. You got to think they might bring in the ringside position to take a look at that cut between rounds. All right, so the referee steps between the two fighters. They are going to call on the doctor to look at that nose, and I'm fearful this is going to be the end of the fight. Yeah, it's bad. There's a lot of blood. You can see him almost mouth wide open, gasping for air. All right, so the doctor talking to the referee, and it looks as though the fight's going to continue. He's got to go for it now, though. That cut's not going to get any better. It is not going to get any better. Now he's got to take some chances. He's got to go out on the shield. If he's gonna go out because if he gets to the next round, I'm not sure he'll get to go out again. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is gonna continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets his back underway. Gets his right back underway, and it doesn't seem like there was too much thought into it. It looked like they were gonna let him fight, and that's exactly what they did, and I could not be happy. Alvarez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Both fighters realizing a lot of success early. Back and forth we go. Oh! Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Oh! Two left. You heard him again. Back to the feet now. His nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh! Massive kick to the head. That was a nice fight. Collar tie here in the clinch. Oh, nice takedown defense. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. Let's get someone on this cut. All right, mercifully, that is it for the round, and Alvarez's nose has got to be broken. I mean, there is no stopping that blood at this point in time, and ringside physician probably going to come in and take a look. We'll see. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. 
you feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at that. He can't even stand. Hook to the body blocked by the underground king. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do? You see a cut trying to attack it? It's like a target. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. You want to punch him in it. You want to elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off, you go down the path. Look how excited you just got talking about punching a dude who's already wide open. Like, you got really excited. It is, right? And I'm old now. I don't even want to fight no more. I, I do love a uh, little damage. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Sidekick now. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. Yeah, you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are there to win the fight, not just be standing at the final bill. Well, the cut men have done everything that they can tonight, but these guys are handing out facials. This is crazy. Yeah, these guys are going after it, man. Both of them. Both inflicting damage on each other. And both are dealing with it and trying to continue in this fight. This is a great fight. Able to land with the body there with the left kick. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the low. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's in trouble. These guys are leaking all over each other. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Alvarez is an absolutely bloody mess right now. Cut man knows he's got his work cut out for him between rounds. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Real quick leg kick. Well, one got through, that kick is broken. Oh, back and forth we go. Man, he ate another shot right on that cut. You think his vision has been compromised at all? It has to, right? Because you gotta be able to see to fight. And right now, he's been targeted in that area, and you can see it worsening. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Lee's got a lot of weapons on both sides as he switches his stance here. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you, but that cut just continues to... Oh!